And we're on Ninja. Here we are, Jason Ninja. We're working on Ninja's shoulder. So what we're gonna work on today is improving people's external rotation. So if you're trying to get into squats, you can't do overhead press and you really can't externally rotate it, much like myself here. We're gonna show you uh, how we would treat to improve that range. So we're gonna start off with the pecs. Starting into the pec attachment, Ninja's done a big workout on Monday. So he said he's sore in the shoulders, but um, we're gonna help free him up. Plenty of pull-ups and push-ups, was it Ninja or dips or what do you? Oh, well, there wasn't lots of them, but it was more about how we did them on the weekend, on Monday, two days ago. Um, we tried to do the, um, exaggerate the, the downward phase of our dips oh, and, and Real pull -ups. eccentric, yeah. Yeah, okay. so go down as slow as you can. So you pull yourself up to the top with a pull-up yeah. and then lower yourself down, like take 15, 20 seconds to lower down maybe, you know, or 10 seconds, whatever you can do. Yeah. And the same with dips, we're trying to just go down really slowly and get to a right rock bottom range. So it's, yeah, so I think that's why I'm a little bit sore. We only did 10 dips and five pull ups. All right. This is not much. Easy for you. You know yeah. you're doing 35 pull ups, aren't you, Ned? Yeah. I did 40 in a 40? row the other day. Bloody hell, I'm underestimating you. A couple him. of weeks ago. <laughs> so that was the best I've done you're for Doing a lot more years. than I am. But um, yeah, I've been concentrating on them. So, but um, yeah, I want a few more months and I'll try and get 50. 50. Maddie, young Matthew said, I've got to try and do 15 to my chest. And then he reckons I'll be able to do 50. 15 to your chest, okay. Yeah, I get that, that kind that of. That equates to 50, you reckon? That's what he reckons. All right, he'd be the, he'd, he'd know, he's the pull up uh, master here in Leo. Yeah. Leo, you reckon you could break 50? He's, yeah, got, he's, oh, he's giving he's, a nod behind oh, the camera. Oh, there we go, Ninja. Yeah, it's giving me a bit, bit of curry. Of, yeah. So yeah, just working through the pec major here, just trying to clear, clear that solidified tissue out from the shoulder, trying to open it up. A lot of people, if they can't externally rotate, they're normally, yeah, gorilla arms and their palms might be facing forward. So another thing we can just do to help open the shoulder up just while we're treating is just even turn the hand out there, try and create more space. It can also give us an idea of where that shoulder is tight or where that pec's tight that is causing it to pull in and just doing slow, targeted treatment here. Staying a bit broader, but it's still pretty painful, isn't it, Ninja? Pecs yeah. are always pretty nasty spot. You're not going to crush my ribs, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not. <laughs> it just feels like it. That's it. Oh, it's, pretty, it's nice and warm out here, today. It is, sun's out, gun's out. Yeah. Work on the tan. Yeah. With some lawnmowers going. And Would have been good to have our uh, calendar shoot after a bit more of a tan on the body, especially for myself. But yeah, if you haven't heard, we've launched an MMT calendar that's come out already. So yeah, you can purchase that now. If you jump on, click the link below. Um, have a look. 90s gym fantasy. Don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe to the channel as well to get constant updates on pretty much how we treat any sort of pain or um, even training tips and yeah, just general health tips as well. You might also get a bit of humor thrown in there every now and then we're sometimes funny. Well, we think so, but yeah, we're yeah. working on it. We're also just trying to spread this type of work all around the world. You might actually want to learn this type of treatment. So learn how you can change other people's lives, but also change your own. Um, it's such a rewarding job and industry that we work in. That that's why we sort of worked on this channel and grown it and tried to um, yeah, create an online course so that you can learn how we treat and how we approach treating pain and injuries. Uh, because yeah, we think everyone around the world should have access to this sort of work. And unfortunately, as much as we'd love to do a world tour, it's not, not feasible at the moment. But yeah, if we can train up practitioners around the world that have this knowledge, then yeah, that's our part. Yeah. So we've worked through the pack. We'll give that one a little bit of a rest for Ninja. Now we can also work the anterior shoulder here. So just a bit of bicep tendon and anterior deltoid. So we're just gonna sink into that bicep tendon. Not gonna go too hard with Ninja because you know he's uh, a bit fresh and sore oh. from a workout. Yeah, this one hurts. And this is pretty raw anyway. Doesn't take a lot to inflict some pain in here. Yeah. You don't need so just pain. feeling for those ropey tendons. And we're not really moving too fast, staying connected with the with the tendon, with the source of the pain. Flies are eating eating me alive out here in. There's a few around, eh? 
when you know it's coming back towards summertime in Melbourne. The flies, they're terrible. And just tracing down. This is another good one to really try and open up the shoulder there. Might be someone that's been overworking the, the front of the shoulder, not doing enough back work or something like that. And you, yeah, trying to get big deltoids, big pecs, big biceps, but you're not evening out your body. Um, so this treatment might be good to you to help to open up even just in your natural standing posture. Yeah, good posture looks good. Or it's it. A good posture improves how your body looks as well. Like yeah, yeah if you've got big pecs but you're also in good posture it makes them look better they stand out more where if you're hunched over and rounded yeah they might look big but they don't stand out as much yeah and when you move that's what looks good i reckon that's, that's it aesthetically pleasing so if you're kind of not moving well not functional you look good you stand there maybe but yeah then you go to move that's yeah that's it it'd be ugly so yeah posture is important and balance of your body been able to jump and run and Rotate. <laughs> Rotate. Very Ooh, important. Big flick in there on that. So we'll just go back with a thumb just to give Ninja a little bit of curry on that spot. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> you love it, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I love the results. Yeah, and going going through it, it's it's not that bad. It's just you can breathe and make some noise or whatever and helps you distract and get through a little bit. But yeah, really you wanna go through it and feel it all and, yeah, and then your body and mind can integrate you know that things are freed up ah things got a chance of healing and moving better and see it created more flow so yeah we'd work through that whole line of that deltoid bicep and now we're going to work into subscaps this is a lot of people's favorite muscle in here so it's on the underside of our shoulder blades so we've got to go through the armpit here so ninja if you just relax your arm down there i'll rest it on my knee and then so this one's a key for internal rotation of the shoulder, so bringing the shoulder that way. So if this is tight, you will be limited in your ability to externally rotate. So we're just sinking in there under the rib. If you come in the angle here, Leo, a bit of a point of view from my hand here. So ribs are there, so I'm just dropping down and now I'm pushing into the front side of the shoulder blade. So the scapula under there, and then I can just start to create some movement to get that muscle to flick up. We can feel when we take Ninja out there, start to lengthen, you can feel it right in there. And you can quite often get some referral pain into the shoulder, out the arm, sometimes down the back of the arm from this one. If you're a swimmer, do a lot of swimming, this can be a muscle that can be chronically overused um, in a lot of swimming strokes. So you might be getting a lot of work through other muscles and it's not improving. It could be this little one under here. So yeah, if you can't come and see us to treat it, get your practitioner in through the armpit, Get them to do subscap. Might be the lifesaver for you. Pin it in there. You can open up with some passive range because a bit like treating the psoas, um, you don't, we don't actually want to move around too much in here because it is quite uncomfortable. And then if I find a spot, I can oh, sink out of there. A few nail marks on Ninja. Claws. I'll trim the claws, but we can go in a bit deeper with the thumb. So sink in using the pad of my thumb. Find a little speed bump there it is you getting any referral pain ninja or just nah, nah it was intense first up and then it's faded pretty quick faded off i'll try and get me shadow out of the video there and just holding there once we find that spot yeah we just sit on it wait for it to ease up and then we can start to create some little movements to open that shoulder up And I can even bring it right up here, which is where someone might start to struggle with their, with their range. Sink out of there. We'll get to do one more. We'll go through the lat. So roll to your side, Ninja, and face the fence. And so, yeah, the lat, you can see here quite well on Ninja, it's that big muscle coming in through here. So it actually attaches on the inside of your bicep so it can, again, internally rotate the shoulder and limit that external rotation. So just reach the arm out in front of you there, Ninja. So we've got a bit of length in that tissue and then sink into the back of the shoulder. So we normally do a lot of work through the medial border of the scap. This time we're working on the lateral border. So sort of through that lat where it comes in, 
also through Terry's major and minor. And then we're going to trace that lap down, as you can see on Ninja, from all those pull-ups that he's been doing. <laughs> yes. And yeah, there's normally a few nasty spots through here. You going all right there, Ninja? I'm just trying to get flies off me. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're out in numbers today. Yeah. Working through. Uh, oh, coming up good. to a good spot. And it's wrapping around. We're going to trace it. Uh. And as we know, it wraps into that thoracolumbar fascia, so we're coming into that lower back. And then I might come around this side and do a, a bit of a broader stroke. But with the elbow and forearm, sink in. Can even just move that shoulder around, get some laxity in that tissue, and then lengthen it. What kind of bird's that? Oh, I have no idea. Cuckoo. What do you think, Ninja? You should be the bird master, all the birds up at your house. I know, it's a different one. Maybe it's a drone. Drone? <laughs> Spying on us. Spying on us. Seeing what we're doing at MMT. Yeah, it's not a real bird. <laughs> and finish this one off. For video's sake, we'll wrap it up there. But yeah, obviously we do a bit more work through the lat. And obviously we can spend longer on each of these areas, but just wanted to give you a snapshot of the work we can do to help to free up the shoulders and improve external rotation. So yeah, remember, like and subscribe. Um, yeah, jump on, check out the calendar if you're interested in uh, purchasing one of those. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Done. Yeah.